There are growing calls for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo to step down from his position following the release of a damning attorney general report detailing how he sexually harassed women around him for quite some time. Now in a Marist poll, respondents were asked, do you think that Andrew Cuomo should resign as governor or do you think that he should serve out the rest of his term? And here's how the respondents responded. 59% of respondents overall said that Cuomo should be impeached while only 48% of Democrats agreed. The poll also exposed a nine point gender gap. This is really shocking, 64% of men saying Cuomo should resign while 55% of women said the same. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why the poll played out that way. It's I, kind of depressing, <laughs> but it uh, could be that maybe I need to look at it, but but if you know they, they obviously they have some percentages Democrats, some percentages Republican. If Republican men are represented more mm -hmm. than Democratic women, and Democrats are less likely to think he should resign, then that would look like it's the women. Maybe that. Maybe uh, so we'd have to see that breakdown. But typically with these types of polls, they ensure that they have like a representative sample. Um, so we'll. I, it is what it is. I mean, I would like to see a higher percentage of Democrats, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, representative, but not even. Mm -hmm. You know, if Republicans are like one fourth of the state, that's what they would end up once you weight it. So right. I don't know. I would want to see with both partisanship and gender simultaneously considered. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, uh, but the point here is, you know, clearly a majority of uh, respondents regardless of their affiliation or regardless of their gender, do want to see him step down. Um, and so, or impeached, I should say. Now, uh, one very high profile person who thinks that he should step down is the President of the United States. Let's oh, watch. I didn't even know Manchin talked about this. <laughs> Joe Biden did, let's watch. Back in March, you said that if the investigation confirmed the allegations against Governor Cuomo, then he should resign. So will you now call on him to resign given the investigator said the 11 women were credible? I stand by that statement. Are you now calling on him to resign? Yes. And if he doesn't resign, do you believe he should be impeached and removed from office? Let's take one thing at a time here. I think he should resign. That was pretty clear. I think he should resign. Uh, yeah. So, so am I wrong to be frustrated by the last bit? I get that impeached is stronger, but if you think what he did was wrong, wrong enough that he should resign, and considering the nature of what he did, then everyone else should be like, well, if that guy that's been proven to not be able to do the right thing doesn't do the right thing, what are you gonna do? Right, and you know what, that is relevant because Cuomo denies any wrongdoing. It appears that he's going to take the Trump tactic of refusing to admit guilt, refusing to apologize for anything and just continuing on as if everything is totally normal, everything's totally fine. But Biden isn't the only one. The respondents of that poll aren't the only ones who wanna see Cuomo out. In fact, the Editorial board over at the New York Times wrote a pretty scathing piece regarding Andrew Cuomo. I'm going to read you a few excerpts from it. The board argues from the report, for which investigators interviewed 179 witnesses and gathered more than 74,000 pieces of evidence, two things are clear. First, Mr. Cuomo may yet face legal consequences for his alleged actions. Second, regardless of what may happen in a court of law, a governor has only one conscionable option left, he should resign. And then they uh, you know, highlight some of their reasoning behind this. Uh, Ann Clark, one of the investigators, said at a news conference that in one case, a state trooper told them that while she and Mr. Cuomo shared an elevator, he quote, ran his, by the way, trigger warning for anyone who's been sexually assaulted, uh, ran his finger from her neck down her spine and said, hey you. And that in a separate incident, she was standing holding the door open for the governor. As he passed, he took his open hand and ran it across her stomach from her belly button to the hip where she keeps her gun. Super creepy. Um, and then there's Cuomo's cringy apology response, which I, I don't think I've seen this yet. So let's take a look at the next video. I want you to know directly from me that I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. 
I am 63 years old. I've lived my entire adult life in public view. That is just not who I am. And that's not who I have ever been. I've been making the same gesture in public all my life. I actually learned it from my mother and from my father. It is meant to convey warmth, nothing more. Indeed, there are hundreds, if not thousands of photos of me using the exact same gesture. I do it with everyone, black and white, young and old, straight and LGBTQ, powerful people, friends, strangers, people who I meet on the street. What? I had seen that video and yeah, yeah. I unfortunately had to see it again. <laughs> what, so he kept referring to that gesture. So is he is he saying that all the people you saw in that like Al Gore, he ran his hand from their belly button around to the hip where they keep their gun? He would is that what he's saying? He would grope women, according to this you know, report. Well, my point is, I'm being sarcastic, yeah. but he is trying to make it out that, oh, okay, so I know what you're hearing. It looks really bad. I said all these different things. I did all these different things. No, forget about that. Let's pretend as if there's one thing I did, like touching someone's cheek. Mm -hmm. It's all about that. And I do that to everyone. In fact, I learned it from my mom. You like moms, right? You wouldn't be mean to my mom. So we're gonna pretend it's all about touching someone's cheek rather than talking about their tattoos and their piercings, touching their belly button, kissing them, all that stuff. Asking questions so about fake. the sexual assault that they dealt with in the past. Like, it just incredible. Is that what his mom taught him? <sighs> And look, uh, he might be facing federal charges for some of these uh, allegations. We'll see how that plays out. But in the very least, he should resign. It doesn't appear like he's willing to claim any responsibility or resign. And so what happens next? And, and that's why I say you're right in regard to Joe Biden's response to the impeachment question. You know, he should have just had a strong answer for it. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I've gotten to a point where I've come to expect uh, disappointment from Biden, so I just kind of yeah. let it go. <laughs> yeah, and look, uh, some people have resigned in the past. They're basically all Democrats, so I guess that might lead you to have some reason to believe Cuomo would. But I mean, look, it's it's kind of a difficult question, but I will ask it to you: Why would he resign? Why? I mean, if he resigns, he's done. If he doesn't resign, maybe people move on and forget. And at the very least, he gets to still be governor. And maybe he still gets to live his lifelong dream of becoming president, probably not. But he still has a better chance than if he resigns. So why would he? It's really as simple as that. Right. They're not, well, I was gonna say priests. How does that imply morality? Anyway, <laughs> they're not, they're politicians, that's what they are. Let's yep. keep it real. So yep. why would he resign? Wait, he's gonna re resign, go home, wake up every morning to watch the news, eat cereal on his couch and watch Matt Gates still in the halls of Congress? See Trump run for president in a few years and then eat some more Lucky Charms? Why would he do that? Now obviously he should morally, what he did is abhorrent. But pragmatically, why would he do that? And so then it turns to us. Yep. Well not us, but you know, the state legislature I suppose. They need to do something. They gotta take action, you're right, yeah. absolutely. Cuz he's not going to, or at least it would seem kind of crazy if he did. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.